Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker A high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's edition of What a Horse. I've That's got us. Tommy Williams with me. You're looking good, Dave. I don't? feel good. I feel you've been you know, I've got my new What a Horse shirt on the way. Okay. Right, so I'm in the black shirt today, but I've got my new. Uh oh. I got my new What a Horse shirt. Well, get a shirt that'll hold a mic. That'll hold a microphone. No kidding. Yeah. So I've got a new one on the way because I'm smaller. I've lost some weight. I'm hey, he's not lying. He has. He, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone like this. I've tried to, though. I've tried to. Well, that's good. I've tried to. I need to. I need to. So, what a, we're going to commercial break, apparently, right? Oh, yeah. we got to go to commercial break. We'll be right back after our sponsors. Let's do Here it. Here we go. Let's do it. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. Come one, come all, that's the motto at the new Feed for All store on Highway 64 East. Feed for All is family owned and operated by Christy and Eddie Guthrie along with their son Joe. This family will be available to serve your daily needs for all your agriculture animal feeds. Their goal is to provide feed in bulk or buy the bag wherever it is needed and will always be a phone call away. Christy and Eddie have always been very selective in the quality of the feed their animals were fed and their satisfaction with the Feed for All products is their guarantee. You will be satisfied as well. Watch your horses come running when you break out the Feed for All horse feed. Give Feed for All a call today at 931-492-4609 or stop by their store located at 2392 Highway 64 East in Shelbyville, Tennessee and pick up a load of feed today. Joe is ready to load it for you. Uh, feed for All! So good! Let's return back to Jerry Harris and his guests on What a Horse. Hey, listen to me. I want to tell you something. You're not a guest no more. We have not discussed this at all before, ever. All right. Do you, Ancestry.com. Me, the the Jerry Williamses, we're Roosevelt Williamses, we're probably kin. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Everybody thinks it's a big joke, but no, we are because... There is, we've got one little link to fix. Jerry and I have talked about it several times. If you look at Roosevelt Williams and my grandfather, one's black, one's white, and they look just alike. Big pot bells, everything. So, yeah. So, we t make a joke about it all the time. But hey. we're about to find out it's fact that we actually are kin. Now, we're not kin to Chad Williams. We ain't claiming that much. <laughs> Them other Williams is in trouble. So you ain't going that far. You're <laughs> no. not going that far. We'll I'm take here. Jerry. No, I love Chad to death. No, 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 no. He's a great hey. basketball player at Minor Hill, by the way. 
No, but yeah, uh, we, Jerry, we're about that close to finding out we're all kin. So. You, you know, I've, I've jumped into that DNA stuff too, but but I, I think I, I may find out I'm kin to Chase Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do no, that. No, we know, Chase. Well, right. I mean, we're right. I was with him last night at the piano store. But anyway, yeah, the Jerry can, Williams. Can stuff. you play better than he can? No, um, no, no. I'm he close. is good. Isn't he? Yeah, very often. He's great. I hey, play because we got to announce this, or your got, brother, your brother's going to be mad. We're hit, the month of February is huge. Go. Yeah, and that's right around the corner. First look. Yeah, and that's going to be February the fifth. Going to start at ten a.m. in the morning. Catered by Rowdy Ranch. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for that. Call, awesome. Contact David Williams nine three one six three nine one zero eight one, and they're taking. You you got a good two year old. It doesn't three matter. Year old right. So understand, it doesn't have to be by right a, 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 a stud from Sugar Creek. No, no. it doesn't have to be. Bring them on. Bring them. Right. I'm, I Between think that's deal. good. He he just wanted to set the let everybody see what they got. There's going to be a new stud introduced. We're going yeah. to have a little video of that new stud later in the show. Right. But hey, I was tickled to death because that was. And all that was Harold Roberts' dream. Yeah. Then we go to Alabama. Oh yeah, we're going to go to the Alabama barn party, and that's going to be at Nathan Clark. Right. Uh, you can call him at two five six five zero five zero five twelve ten or Brandon Tate. Now it's going to be at Brandon's place. Yeah. Two five six four three one fifty one eighty four. That's February the twelfth. That is always a fantastic. I don't care if they've got. Ten horses or seventy they horses. Have those, they have. Uh, I it's, haven't talked to them just great. Um, um, lately, but they have a great auction for Camp Smile Mile. Oh that's yes, they do. I mean, it, it's fantastic. We, we had a big time. No, hey, we've $200 always had banana money. puddings. Come on. Yeah. Blue Ribbon Sale is going to be 18th and 19th. Preview on the 18th. Buy on the 19th. In Shelby. In Shelbyville, Pleasant Valley. That's going to be a good one. Uh, preview starts Friday at 3 p.m. Sale starts Saturday at 10 a.m. That's the 18th and the 20th. You can go out there and buy two yod and buy some ribeyes. That's from... it. <laughs> by, by the hey, hey, don't knock it. They got a hundred dollar special that I called Dick. He said I got a hundred dollar special. I'm, I went out there. Listen, I'm talking about ribs, hamburgers, ribeye. I mean, you talking about some good meat? It's awesome. Yeah, that's hey. buy two yod, get a case of uh, ribeyes. Wonderful. Yeah, he may even trade a case of ribeyes for for a good one. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Have you seen the price of meat? Oh, I know. Yeah. Talked to a friend of mine this morning. Said, "Don't go to Kroger's." I said, "Why?" I said, "They ain't got no meat." They don't. I, and it's crazy. I said, they ain't got no meat. I said, "Food line down here. I took care. I mean, they took care of me. My yeah. man down there. Now they have meat. Right. So I don't know. Call Lane Leverett nine three one six seven five twelve sixty one. That's on that one. Yeah. Or Billy Young, 903-312-8348. And you know, then we got one at the last weekend. Yeah. Jim O'Connor up in uh, Sevierville. Sure did. Y'all went that last year. I do want to say this, though. Yeah. Uh, I got a little thing to read here that uh, Winter Circles always, they, they sponsor, do a whole lot in this industry. They mm -hmm. sponsor. I've never gone to them yet and asked David to help for this or help for that that he hasn't bent over backwards. I'm talking about grooming kits, whatever you need, right. David. Now they've introduced a new bridal. And uh, I mean, this, this is fantastic. They got it on special, 94.50 per set. It is, I mean, it's just, these are the finest draw reins. The reins are beach made. Okay, it's, all right, yeah. All right, see, I know about this product. This is pretty. My son uses. You need break two yeah. yards. I think he uses a set of these. I seen Jerry with a set of them the other day. Yeah. They're they're real neat, buddy. Get down there and get them. Ninety four fifty. That that's that's a good price. That is they, a good price. They got yeah. a, a a little a latch on them where you can swap them around. Right. I mean, it's pretty pretty neat. Wes uses these, I think, and he he's got a new thing. You know, colts have a tendency to hit their knees. Yeah. He picked up a product, I think, from them that was a uh, that Pasifino's use, mm. and it keeps them from hitting their knees. This, those Ranger, are, um, he has those too. Well, you go down there, Matt. He would take care of great you. people. Uh, David, you go in there and you're looking for something, they'll come out and I mean, Matt's a hoot. Yeah, 
Now, well, he, he, they've been around forever and been doing they've done he, well. They do a good job. They Absolutely. do a lot of. They do a tremendous amount of trail riding. Right. Like saddles and everything. They told me they was having all kinds of trouble getting saddles, selling them as fast as they come in. Really. People. People eating up the Tennessee walking horse trail riding. Let them. Got a call last night. Had to put me on the TV so I could talk. Looking for a trail horse. Really? Yeah, they got, they said, I want one. They said, just point me in the right direction. So I pointed them in three what, directions. All right. The trail riding, the flat shot business is getting so big. Yesterday, I died laughing. I posted about it a while ago. I'm laughing as hard as I can. So Wes had a guy in a cross tie trim, clip a horse. Well, he's not going to make padded, but he's going to make flat shot. So he trimmed, he said, his foretop. He left it real big. He said, that's the key to padded barns. If you go look for the best uh, flat shot, look for the how they clip them. <laughs> that trainer's telling you, here's your flat shot. Here's your pleasure horse. Because they leave their, you know, their four tops huge. So I, God, I was dying laughing yesterday. Wesley told the guy, I said, don't trim his four top off. That's for Tune and Crystal to have. Just don't <laughs> clip it. So I thought that was wonderful. I've seen, I've seen that. Big, I've seen that, that. that yeah, that was, uh, listen, I love that. So, I man, I started, I never thought about that, but I was dying laughing that they leave their four top big if they're going to be a flat well, shot. I was talking to Jerry the other day, and he, we was talking about some, I mean, because Jerry, Jerry Williams got some good horses. Of course, out there. Yeah. I mean, real good ones. But he had one out there, and I told him, I said, you think it's going to be a flat shot? He, he said, it won't be a show horse, but he said, I'm going to tell you, he's going to be a fantastic trail horse. Right. said, he, he is just, he's got the game. There's gate. big money. I mean, it's huge money. I mean, it's Tommy Lloyd in Kentucky. I don't think anything he has up there is under seven grand. At I doubt all. it. I mean, everybody. These trail horses are. Well, I talked to the guy last night, and I told him, I said, it's going to be hard to find a real good one. For twenty five hundred, three thousand no, dollars, I said gonna you're going to have to pay some money. Right. And I said for a good one, you're going to have to pay some good money. It's not. It's not going to happen. I mean, you got to pay to a dead broke one. I've, I've got a great friend of mine in Murray, Kentucky. We just talked about. It. We had this conversation, and uh, he said that uh, I, I told him he wanted. He has fourteen, fifteen year old dollar, and I, I told him I said you're going to spend. You're probably going to spend twenty. To get two, to get unbelievable, two. to show quality. Yeah. I said, you're going to spend that much. And that's, it's just trail quality. You're going to spend five grand, six grand, seven grand. I'm gonna get tell you, a show I'm gonna you're going to spend okay. ten apiece. I'm going to tell you the difference between a, a, a trail horse and a good trail horse. A trail horse, one they get out here and they let him ride around the pasture, look everything, rides real good. Mm -hmm. They say, well, he broke. Then you take him on trail ride. And you come to that little creek. Right. That chances, water. Chances are you're going to end up in that creek. Right. That water <laughs> moving is a little difficult. Yeah. You've got to, if they won't go through water, they won't go up a hill. You, you've you got to know what you're buying. They need to be and over I, here to Ag Center in the that's right. class. And right. It, once, yeah. once you learn, a lot of people think they can ride a horse because they can set the straddle of him. Right. And then they find out that, you know, I can't ride a horse. <laughs> right. It's kind of yeah. like watching... Watching a right. Yellowstone, and uh, my boy, they sent him out to the four sixes to learn. Yeah, but the, the our business, is, our horse is, we are able to take an amateur rider at three o'clock oh, and have her in the ring at six. Now but you can we do get that. A little spoiled to that. You, you we can get do a little that. Spoiled to but, that. But we're talking two different things. You put on trail horse, a different story. Yeah. We're talking trail right, horse versus right. show horse. Dick Peoples is one of the best at, at getting a horse trail ready. Right. I mean, he, he's fantastic. At right. Jerry Williams get sensitizes to where you can get the buzzer around them, the bore around them, right. ride them up around roads and all this. But now there's your trail horses. Yeah. These horses, I grant you, I know this is in Wartrace, Tennessee. Ah, oh, okay. No, no, that's in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's down in Lynchburg. We cross creeks, mud holes, hills, you name it. And they go across. Here's the thing. There's an old film, Jerry, of, that Tweeba made, Twin, yep. Tennessee Wild Horse Breeders made, of these people doing this same thing, but they got ties and I know. coats well, on. It used, used to be, used to be. That, were, you this know, guys are wearing ties. What's that about? I mean, well, 
That's what they just showing off. Beautiful shoulders. I mean, you shirts. want to, you want to go trail ride and go with Tommy? He throws hats in the no, floor. No, but I mean else. seriously, um, they're wearing ties. Yeah, you got the film on your well, your hey, website. I've got I've got a film of Maggie Moore dressed in the 1800 garb, side saddle, side saddle in yeah. Trace, Tennessee. I've seen that. We're, yeah. sep we're celebrating their 100th year. Yeah, I seen that and I said I ain't believing it. Because I, I mentioned it to Russ Thompson. Russ Thompson said, I can take care of that. I said, ain't nobody going to ride no side saddle. He said, wait until I call Maggie right. Moore. Yeah, they, there's a lot of them did do that. She, she jumped on it right away. California, they they a lot of costumes and a lot of side saddle. Yeah. I've seen it happen. I'm going to tell you, I ain't going to try to ride side saddle. No. I want, I want to get both legs around that horse. Commercial. Yeah. We're heading to commercial, right? Oh, so we're going, we got... Let me see. No, we're going to see Jerry Williams on some horses. Let's go. Well, there's actually Jeremy. Jerry's Jerry's a ground man now. J and J Stables. J and J Stables in Shelby. That's that uncle nearest. He told me. He said, "All I want to do is just ride around here, right here." I'm going to tell you something. Here Jerry and them are good at. Yeah. They're getting people back in the industry. That's the biggest thing right there. They're coming back. These these guys ride well. They do well. They the thing is, we're a family-oriented thing. This is Jerry's son. Yes. So this is third-generation family in Tennessee Wagon Horses, yeah. uh, and that matters. Yeah. I mean, that's a big thing. In his situation right now, Yeah. he's out there. Jerry's out there. Of course, Jerry learned from his father. Of course, Roosevelt. But he's got Brad Kirby's out there. Brad Buddy Kirby is a wealth of knowledge that oh. Brad learned from his father. Buddy Kirby. And if you don't think Jeremy is not soaking it up like a sponge, he told they, me. They do, he right. Said, There's Brad right there, but yeah. he just passed. Brad, I remember the first time he showed 11 on the class, he was a little bitty kid and skinny. You know, we're about the same age. Yeah. And I, he was in there, and I was in there too. Now, he, I think he's like a year younger than me, but he's built just like his daddy. And he was around all these horses forever and knows, and that's, you know, what you're going to get out here. It's all that knowledge. Well, I can tell you, they, they've got some people back in the industry. Yeah. That This lady that bought this horse, I'm not going to call her name, or her, but I am going to tell her age. She's in her 70s, and she decided, I want to come back. I know one that, uh, I know one that, uh, Big Alabama lumber people yeah. that have a ponies out there for grandkids, and they'll and they have they've had tons of horses. They'll be back in it because of pony, little ponies. Well, this one right here is going to be a pony, oh, yeah. and and he this is one that after he warms up, now he's ready to go. Do for real? Yes. And that the deals I don't know what it is about them, but it seems to me, the longer you ride them, yeah, the better they want to get. Right. And they will get better. Look here. Well, he's getting with it now. Real good. That's a bus of nine. Is that a two year old or? No, nah, that, that right there is a five year old pony this year. Really? Yep. But now nice. he's, he's pony. We showed him pony. I kept saying he won't measure, he won't measure. And Jerry kept saying, yeah, he will. So we carried him and they measured him. And then we showed him in one pony class. You know, I look at that place, Jerry. Billy Gray would have been very proud, you know. Oh, he, he would have been, been. He, he would have been beside himself. White, fin well, everybody has owned it at once. Larry McLaughlin owned it once. Bob Kilgore's owned it once. Uh, Bill Baker from California actually named it Sand Creek, and now it's uh, Uncle Nearest. Everybody's been there. They would have been so. Proud. What have we got here? Oh, that's another. <laughs> that's another. They just sold to a lady that. Uh, and she, is she, that a uh, mare? Yep. Well, she's good behind. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's a good horse. Hello. That right there, if I'm not mistaken, that is Gwen. That was the one that um, old Lucky Collins showed. Right. And I mean, she's a great mare. I mean great. So Don Cobb, Don, don't they send their horses out there in the wintertime to yeah. kind of be? Oh, yeah, Tony the Pony's out Tony there. The we Pony. got, Probably there now, right? Well, yeah, we was going to yeah. do an interview with him, but he wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> so we went to another stall, <laughs> and the other horse, like, I mean, was all over. Look at the, look at the sales movement. You know, I've worked in there. I, I feel proud, too, because 
Um, I worked in there. I worked for Bob Kilgore in that building, him and Kenny Lawrence in there. And uh, We used to run ads for them all the time. Right. One of the last times I was in there, uh, uh, my buddy from Ohio was there, the auctioneer, and uh, Scott Adcock. And he died recently. But, but when the last time I was in there, Scott was in there calling sale, and I was reading pedigree. Well, I, tell you, I tell you something. Air. I tell you something about out there that I've I've noticed. Jerry seems to go harder towards having horses for his customers. Right. In other words, he wants them to show. You never see Jerry show. He, he's Jerry, been, it's not all about. No, he's, no, there's no ego after, there at all. No, he's been after me to show Look for here. ever since Look I had this one. I just keep putting it off. But Hello. Now, so, oh, whoa, whoa, tell him about her. Look hey, she she's just now standing horse. I mean, what more can I say? So how did I miss this day? Where was I? Out eating ice you cream? You wasn't with us. Was I somewhere else? <laughs> yeah. That was a great... That mare is awesome. This right here is a two-year-old. A little that, hard road work. Yep. But I've got... You That's saw... A big coat. Yeah, I've seen this coat. That, that, Look at him laying on his heels behind. That's what I like. Well, we've got that video right there in slow motion. Yeah. Everybody has seen it. Jimmy, Jimmy McConnell said, watch him stick him toes up. He does. He hits on them back heels, front heels. I mean, he he is digging This time of year, I know you go through it too. This time of year, do we not look at a ton of video? Oh, God. Listen. I, I would hate. Matter of fact, we went and got some other cameras to where we can put a cable in yeah. to watch these old mini cassettes. Right. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, there, we, we've got so much video. We, we've got a big cabinet for them. But we got the VHS tape. You of, brought some VHS oh, over I'm, here. Oh, listen, I've got uh, half a bedroom full that I that that ain't half of them. Hey, I've got to bring the rest of them too. I want to show some old Jose's, but I watched Time Around the ones yeah. you put out there. Yeah, I, I remember that. I remember when he when he didn't get into the celebration. It was and they wild, had their, yeah. And they had their own, own own little show out there with a sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to take. Hey, a, we got to go to commercial break. Do we're we? going to take a commercial break. We'll re be right back with more video. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. Agenda Win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once. And deliver to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow.
I don't want anybody to forget the winter circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winter circle when you're getting your equine needs. Let's get back to Water Horse and watch some more videos. <laughs> We're back. Genuine. You got it, buddy. That, that, that's the new stud. Listen. All right. So I called David on the phone. I said, this is, you know, you picked this horse up. He said, yeah. He said, let me tell you. Y'all don't even know. All right. So he had, we had, he had Black Jen out there. Black Jen passed away. Mm -hmm. They're strong breeders. Okay. So he's got Jen Amani that's. Unreal. Oh, um, so far. Hey. Unreal so far. 768,000 views. Yeah. Second one, now he picked up Jen to win. He called, he actually, I think he called Mike Floyd and said, listen, your horse is here, this is here, you good? He said, fine, great. He said, let's go. They could be the two most popular breeding horses in Bedford County, those two. Uh, Jen to win, Jen Amati already has them out there, great. Uh, Jen to win, David was so excited about him. Uh, for two reasons. One, look at his breeding. Yeah. He's got tons of talent. Uh, second thing was uh, the science part of it. It's shipping, uh, breeding, their semen count, and all this stuff. Out unbelievable, outstanding, maybe as good as Jose. Jose's tremendous, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. So he told me, Dave, this is my brother, said, this horse can, will ship to Mars. I mean, no problem. So he was excited about that. That's a little, you know, issue that all breeding farms have. A, are they good breeders? Or B, can they ship? I mean, they've got to be able to ship and breed yeah. mares in California or wherever, Canada or wherever. Well, that's good because I only this have to take it out to Jerry's. Do it now? <laughs> I only have to take it out right, to Jerry's. We're yeah. breeding Ruby to it. Right. But this horse <laughs> has got a lot of talent. Blaze McCard, Blaze loves him. Mm -hmm. uh, so he stays at her barn. Right. And then they bring him over there to... Breed. So he's there. He's with Blaze, but breeds yeah. through uh, Sugar Creek. Well, I tell you what, and a great horse too. Oh yeah. What we got? Oh, we got an interview with Mr. Jeremy Williams. Good. Well, let's go. I'm at J and J Stables and uh, found this horse here, and he just <laughs> he, he just evidently likes my jacket. He think he thinks it's uh, made of candy or something. But I am with Jeremy Williams, and. Uh, he is one of the young guns in the walking horse industry, does a lot of training. We've watched him ride several horses this morning from four-year-olds to, to age horses to colts. We got it. We got them all. Yes, sir. Why doesn't that horse like you as much as he likes me? Because he knows that I'm probably going to either clean the stall or clip him or do something that he don't want done. He's thinking that you're going to give him treats because he sees you bring oh, sly treats. He sees treats. Me give him mine treats. Uh -huh. I'll, 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 I'll give him one from now just to show him that I like him too. Oh, yeah. Will you quit it? Well, Jeremy, tell me, during the year, how many coats do y'all do start? Do we, uh, we start right about eight or nine coats. We try not to get too overwhelmed, you know, because we want to focus on getting the coats broke and getting started right. You know, we just don't want to rush through things. Well, I, just, I do know you take your time with it. Oh, yes, sir. That's thing that I've been out of with. Oh, yeah. I also noticed that you've got several amateurs out here that show. Matter of fact, we watched you, uh, Regina Souls, this mm -hmm. morning. You you rode one of hers for yeah. her. She just uh, actually got back into the business. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Well, you know, that, that's a good example of what, what is out here because if my understanding is she drives a school bus. Yeah. Yep. Well, she's got a horse in training out here. And she comes to watch him all the time. Brings yeah. her little carrots with her. I oh yeah, I she comes she twice a week. She ain't fooling nobody. Oh no, she ain't. Would she's at. Uh, she's gonna get in the show ring this coming up season. Is she yep. gonna show? Yeah, she's gonna get in the that, show ring this coming up season. She's gonna show the mare that you uh, had out there. Oh uh, yeah, that big horse right out there that we were riding. Mm -hmm. That's a good horse. Good horse. Oh yeah. Well, you got some others. You got one lady that been out of the industry for years. Uh, Sharon Higginbottom. Sharon Higginbottom. Yep. She got in. We saw yep. her horse out there. The uh, Quinn mare. Yes. Yeah. Bought good, a good real mare. Good. Yeah. Well, that used to be shown by uh, uh, Lucky, Lucky Collins. Collins. Yes, sir. And Don, and they sold her to Sharon. Mm -hmm. So, Sharon, he ain't going to leave me alone. <laughs> he's, he's thinking you want some treats. I might have to get some treats for him. Well, so, somebody bring me a biscuit for this horse. 
Well, how, how many horses do y'all have in training right now? We have rated at 35, and then we have rated about 15 to 20 boarding horses. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, I know that you've got a quarter horses here. Yes, sir. And you've got spotted horses here. Uh, yes, sir. You've got a little bit of everything. Let, let me get these biscuits here. Oh, yeah, you're speaking his language now. Now, now we'll give him a biscuit. Go ahead. Get your butt back in there. Or I'll, maybe he'll come to you next. Oh, yeah. These horses are not dumb, believe me. They are smart. They know oh, yeah. who the suckers are, <laughs> who they can get candy off of, carrots off of, biscuits off of. You just stand here and wait. About in the morning. Yes, sir. About what time y'all get here? Get here right at about 6.30, 7 o'clock most days, and we'll come in here and get everything fed, watered, and hay, and then we come in here and start cleaning stalls. You know, a lot of people think that all the trainer does, they run in here and they get the groom and get the horse ready and everything but I'm here to tell you I've come out here and I've seen you and your dad both feeding mm -hmm. watering mucking stalls putting down shaving oh yeah do it all it, it, everybody has to jump in and do their yeah, part you gotta right? do your part everybody has to come together and work as a team and get everything done keep it rolling well you I know you've got Brad out here oh yeah and uh Brad has to be an asset. Oh yeah, Brad's a good, good man, good guy. He taught me a whole lot. Him between him and my dad, I've learned numerous things from stuff my granddad done and stuff that Brad's dad taught him. I get to learn through the generations, you know. You get that. I mean, you you got a lot of education, uh -huh. man. I you know Wes is learning. We're trying to teach Wes how when a horse rears up, <laughs> turn loose, of the yeah, turn loose, and and just hang on. He uh. But he, he's getting yeah, better. Yeah, he's learning. Wes, Wes is learning. He came here not knowing nothing, and he's he's getting better and better every day. Well, I remember he said in there, he said he wanted to learn to ride, and I said, after you get dumped four or five times, you'll learn. Yeah, that was the best thing yeah, I ever heard you tell somebody. To yeah, you'll learn to stay on once you get long. thrown a couple times. But now I know that he, he's eager to learn. He's out there riding them flat shot horses, and uh -huh. I've seen him get on some. I think he got on one the other day at like the buck. Oh yeah, he got one that we are uh, going to try to test him. I think that's going to be the first one I think to test him. Man. Well, just take him out there and turn him loose and if he makes <laughs> it back. I know when I told him we was going to take his three-year-old out there and put him on him and just slap him on the rump, he, he, and my eyes got kind of big. He wasn't ready for that. I don't know if he was ready for that. <laughs> well, that will take him some time. Well, how many shows do you think you'll go to this year? We're probably going to try to hit all of them, you know, try to go to as many shows as possible, you know, show horses and get horses in the ring to promote our business, you know. Well, that's the only way to promote. Well, I know your dad's talking about going to Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Down there, that's the first one. Yeah. I ain't got no more. They done took them all. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm dry, bone dry. So he ain't listening. He ain't listening. Well, i tell you what. I'm going to let you get back to work. Okay. I ain't going to hold you up, but I do appreciate you taking time to talk to me. Yes, sir, any time. Uh, you might want to buy this horse some carrots or something. I think Miss Lucky's probably going to be here, probably here in just a little bit to bring him some carrots, bring all of them some carrots. See, look, he's agreeing with me. Well, Jeremy, I appreciate it, buddy. Yes, sir. We'll get back to work and let everybody hit it. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Have Thank you. Bye. Worried me from the time we got there. That's Lucky Collins' horse. Yeah, right, yeah. right. I, I was trying to figure out who, who, whose horse it actually was, but, <laughs> but they put them in your top pocket, and the uh, next time you come in, they'll be tearing your shirt up. About, well, I can walk in there and sly, or yeah. one of them, one of mine. See, they start stomping their foot. All right, here we go. Up. We're going to go flat shot country. This right here, we're going to start at number ten in oh, Ryder Cup. Uh, Ryder Cup. Oh, Ryder here we go. Cup. How about my man? Love him. He's he trains for my brother, Dickie Gardner. Dickie Gardner. Well, I'm gonna tell you something about Dickie Gardner. Now, yeah. this, this is a this maiden is, class, by the way. I remember this. This, All right, go this, ahead. this is a fact, though. Out of Dickie Gardner's barn, how many horses showed that actually got ribbons? No telling. Two hundred and eighty-four. All right. So year. this was this is the maiden. What? No, this is. A, this is this, international. This was international. Right. He had one of my brother's colts in the maiden, but another rider. He wasn't on the horse. No, but I believe he was reserved, wasn't he? Uh, no, he was down in there a little bit. This is mm -hmm. Miller. This is that Miller. Yeah. Great guy. Well, Dickie, he, he is the, the head honcho. He was trainer of the year. Uh, but there's a reason why he was trainer of the year. I mean, when you put 284 horses out of your barn in the ring, that actually gets ribbons. Now that's just him and the and his assistant trainer. Dickie came from Florida. Yep. His dad was a dentist. 
and had horses with Joe Fleming and was a young, handsome dude and all the women just thought he was a pretty singer coming to shovel. And he has been a horse trainer and just a great guy. My brother oh, has shoot. horses with him. Hey, he's a super good guy. Yeah. Great guy. Easy to talk to. Got a fantastic family now. How about this one? B.J. Richards. No kidding. <laughs> he, he looks more like his dad every day. He looks just like him. I know. I wonder if he can narrate like his dad. I, I don't well, know. Well, his dad, son. Now, I always, this when, is when we want somebody to do it, I've always hollered at his dad. He looks just like his daddy. He does. Me and his dad were roommates in college. Is that right? That? Oh, yeah. Lord. I got stories. God help us. Yeah, I ain't going to talk about this. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> we'll talk, I, about, this is a we'll talk about that. It's a family program. <laughs> <laughs> That's Patty's horse, uh, the gin horse. Look at him. He was a made winner. He was the first made winner, him. That's him. B.J. Richard. So he was ninth, right? Yep, yep. He was ninth this year. He... He would, had 53 wins. He was a 43% showed 124 times. Congratulations again to our three year old Trump champion tonight, Richard and Jose. Mr. Jim. I found out that this uh, Ryder Cup thing is not only, not all about winning, it's about showing. It's, it about, be, yeah. it's about getting horses in the ring, yeah. the whole nine yards. There he is again. See, like, he was in 124 classes. You talking BJ? Yeah, oh, BJ man. was. Won 43% of them. I talked to his that's dad. that's not counting the ones he wasn't in, a, you know, in the ring. I talked to his dad just the other day, and they are... Uh, He's taking on kind of a bigger role at Colt Center than. I There's think. his daddy. This is daddy, yeah. He now he don't that. because his dad's got gray hair. His dad got gray hair, yeah, like me. <laughs> he looks like you. Yeah, we're both old, <laughs> very old. So he has a girlfriend, Chris Allen, I think. I think that's the story. But anyway, they're taking a bigger role at the Colt Center uh, and living there and and taking on more. I mean. He's taking a bigger role than just being a you know, trainer's son. That's good. Look at here. When he won that maiden class, I saw him come in. He was the only one in English. The only one in English tag. Everybody else was Western. And I always said, you know, you stood out. That big hat. Look at that big old white hat. Stood out big time. He was imitated because, you know, back during the trail riding days of the early years, everybody used English. Oh, yeah. Uh oh It was a how gentleman this, and a lady's pastime. How about this Mennonite? <laughs> this Amish dude, I guess. <laughs> David Mast got... Hey, hey. He's a horse training fool. David Mast is a super good guy. He he's is a very horse quiet. training fool. Yeah. I ran into him at... The, my son coaches archery. Yeah. And we were selling the signs farm the other day for their, their archery yeah. tournament. He was up there, and I asked him, I said, I didn't know you was in the archery, and, and he just said, well, I am a little. Yeah. And he said, well, I like it a lot. <laughs> Great guy. I'll tell you what he is. He, he, he and Jessica are, I guess they were just made for each other. Yeah, they're great horse trainers, have been for ever. Make one shake, their gut's out now. Look, look at this one. So, Who's his horse? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm missing. Not it. sure of the horses, but he has trained a oh lot of them. Yeah. When we were getting this together, I told CJ, I said, let's just grab some victory passes of them. David Mass, I'm Thunderstruck. How about him? Hey. Ain't that nice? Shaking that head, buddy. He can make one shake their head. I mean, you, you know how a lot of them do that. That a lot of the padded are doing it now, putting them tassel up there, banging them. Yep. Yeah. Let, let them bounce that the tassel. You see that. Uh, that's a good trick. Now, he's very smart. You see that uh, uh, patent leather white cavison? Yeah. You know what that makes it? Makes it look like they're shaking their head more. Mm -hmm. Ronnie Spears used to do that trick. That was a, that's an old trick. 
And he may not have done it. He may have just like the white canvas in it. But it does make their head shape look way better. Look here. Champion of the world. That's it. All right, who is seven? Ah, I know her. Hannah. <laughs> there Hannah she is. Maya. Looked up one Ooh, night. Lover. Hannah comes in on a padded horse. Where? In Columbia, I believe it was. She her, did? Her, yes, sir. Her and Jason showed amateur, amateur. Sure did. Said, don't tell me I can't ride one. I first saw her in California. She was with Golden West, and uh, her mother's a veteran, I believe. Yep. But her, her name then was Hannah Pulvers. And she married Jason Meyer. I remember when they got married, they met in Florida, I think. And uh, talented, talented person. You know, Both of them. Yeah. Jason, Jason is one of the best amateur riders oh, yeah. there, there are right now. Now, he... he uh, she, I used to pick on her all the time because her status was amateur in California. And so her, but she, I mean, she worked at the barn or whatever, and the people on the barn owned the big restaurant there, close. And so I always pick on Hannah and say, hey, you come a long way from, you know, pouring, you know, iced tea <laughs> at the restaurant, showing horses. She is a tremendous, she's a nice person. Oh, she always... Ever since I first met her, she's Good always kid, been just horse. as Good. nice and outgoing. She'd talk. <laughs> and doesn't age a bit. Yeah. I don't know what she's, what kind of water she's drinking. She doesn't age at all. Well, you know, they say horses will do that to you. Well, she's a great example of it. You know, I have to add that those years up in my head, that was, you know, I hate to say it, that's 14 or 15 years ago when she was showing in California. Well, she was just child then. Uh, yeah, and I'm thinking, golly, how time flies. Great trainer. Number six, how about Joe Lester? Joe Lester. What can you say about Joe Lester? He's a good. He, he shows, and he shows a lot. Now he, he he shows a lot in the the, the pleasure classes. Yeah. He just multiple pleasure classes. Big operation out there. He's got yeah. some great people working with him. Look at the back end on this thing. That's Crystal or Bailey. No, that's Bailey. That's there. both of them. Both out. of them. Yeah. That's Crystal in front. Now Crystal's gone into her own bar now. Really? But, Where's she yep. She's out at Midway, out there. You see, all that, see all that four top? That's what Wes said yesterday. I'm leaving this four top for... For the flat shot Christmas, guys. Yeah. yeah, I'm leaving this four top for somebody else. Tell you what, Joe, Joe has really made a mark in the walk Amazing, North Amazing, yeah. He's a great, I remember when he uh, trained a lot for Glenn Levin and people like that. I mean, uh, uh, just, he had a Palomino horse one time. I forgot the horse's name. It was fantastic. Won a ton. Well, he's come on and had a great, great training career. Joe's a really nice guy. He does a great job. There ain't no yeah. doubt about yeah. it now. I mean, he, he works hard, and that, that's what it takes. When you get one of these flat shot horses like this one right here that lands their heels behind like that, yeah. man, that's, that's magic. I mean, that's... Ready to I go. I love watching. Yeah. Love seeing that. 
This is a snapple bit. There's no curve here at all. Mm. I love it, snapple bit. Snapple bit is always good mm. unless they, you know, run off. Mm. Then it's not good. <laughs> Knocking boots. How about Joe Lester? Look. That snapple bit makes them shake that head. I mean, they. They get out there and get it done. That's, yeah, the name. That's what you got to do. You two-hand them with the snaffle bit, too. Oh, yeah. Up to, I think, four years old. You we're going to go straight to commercial because I know we're trying to squeeze all of this into this show. Let's go. So we'll be right back after this short pause for our sponsors. Got it. You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Let's get back to Jerry and his guests on What a Horse. Tell you what. Yes, sir. Who's next? The next one we got up here is number five. I could sit and talk about this guy all day long. Jeff Laughlin. Jeff Laughlin. How about him? I'm going to tell you, he shows it all. He shows. He is winning in Alabama. Hey, hey, he shows flat shot. Yeah. He shows performance. Yep. There he is, flat shot. But he shows performance. His, his clients, they show flat shot and performance. Right. And I mean. Janie. Just, yeah, he, he just gets it. What, what can you say when a guy covers all the bases? Yeah, this is uh, that's in uh, Alabama. Yep. At Celebration Arena, World Celebration Arena. He's a great trainer. There's Asheville, winning Asheville. But he comes from a long line of uh, people. I mean, his brothers, oh, yeah. his dad. They got a big out there at Piney. They got a big, you know, operation out there. And, have for for a long time. And they, he's been around horses all his life. What else, I mean, and he's out there at finish line, right? Yeah, he, he's at yeah. finish line out there. Yeah. He uh, he covers everything. He got a he he got fantastic kids. That, that son of his is he's a pistol. right. Yeah, hey, he is cattle. a pistol now. He told me he said he, he said. I said, how many? He wanted me to buy a candy bar. I said, how many you got left? He said, five. I said, how much are they a piece? He said, five dollars. <laughs> He's gonna sell them all five at one time. Right, yeah. I told him. I said, boy, if you ain't, if you ain't a salesman, you know, you're talking about his son. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The See, his one. wife Carrie's a nurse. You yeah. Know, here yeah. Here. She's a nurse. She's they're good. They're great people. I love them. Dad. Great people. Celebration winner. Yep. Well, I, I guess he's won just about everything. That's Carol Misseldine's horse there, and that's part mm -hmm. of performance, I believe. Yeah. See, they own a bunch. The Misseldine and Danny have yeah. padded in yeah. right out there. They They're one of the customers that does that. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Number four. How about Victoria? Victoria Colossa. I'm gonna tell you, she showed out of Dickie Garner's stable. Dickie Garner's, yeah. Yeah, well that was Dickie that high-fived her there. Absolutely, great rider, great trainer. 
we couldn't find a whole lot because now she shows Sheba yeah. International and a lot, uh, she shows, goes to a lot of shows that are strictly flat shot. Right. And but the, the, this is uh, trainers, this is. Uh, this is for all the trainers. Right. And this is. A lot of the spot shows have show HO judges. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of them do. Look here. Now she she proved to me when you sh when you show two hundred and two times that you get a ribbon. Now that's her, but that's out of Dickie's Garner barn. Am I seeing that right? Two hundred and two. That's how many Lord ribbons she got. Now they wasn't all first <laughs> or nothing, but I tell oh, you she's what, she's bigger than everybody. Yeah. She's twice as bigger than everybody. Thirty four percent of them were blue ribbons, and that's I mean that's pretty good. You take a battery wow. baseball hit 340, son. Everybody All right, here we go. Here's, here's, the, here's the book into the Mass family. Oh, yeah. This is Jessica Lieback. Now, I'm here Jessica. to tell you. She, she is a piece of work. Wow. Now, she can she can do it all. Makes no difference what it is. Jessica is right there. She's ready to go. She knows how to do it. Good one. Good person. Uh, good writer. Uh, knowledgeable. Been around quite some time. And... That's what she's doing. Oh yeah, she she was training. I'd be smoking Joe. Oh, for <laughs> for the uh, dry cleaner people. I love them. Yeah. Get they, car they, rides. The <laughs> Susie Susie Johnson. John, it's not car ride. It was. Yeah, it's she, always she, car she's ride. a car ride. She, these are Johnson. But I know. I mean, she shows. She trains that horse. He was undefeated all year. Yeah. I mean, a great. So one. she trains smoking Joe. Oh yeah. I didn't know. She that. trains smoking Joe. Her and David Master. And that, I mean, that says enough right there. She trains the Simmons horses too. Simon's horses, Simon's, I'm sorry, Simon's yeah. horses. Trains them and they, they got several good ones, buddy. And yeah. I mean good ones. Them Cartwrights now, uh, Susie Johnson, I hope they give them a bag of sausage here. <laughs> you know, they make the best sausage ever. They do. Oh, Hall's car right, yeah. Oh, the best oh yeah, now he did. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, absolutely. All right, number two was Robert Nims. How about Robert? Here's the deal with Robert. He shows mainly lead line, wingling, yearlings, and bottle. Right. Every now and then he'll show on a pleasure class. Correct. But his forte you is winglings and yearlings. Exactly. And 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 the bottle because he he's got some great model horses. I yeah. mean, he gets out there and and he goes to it. Number two trainer of the year. Well, that's another person that comes from a huge historic family of, uh, you know, of riders. Here we go, Robert yeah. Adams. I mean, he, you just can't beat him. No. It, he good, can, good guy, quiet, you know, unassuming, very. Uh, he did just a talented horse. He knows horses well. Oh yeah, knows he's a, a lot. Very good, good horseman. He's not just a show guy. He's a horse guy. Right. Then here oh, we go. Lord. Number one. Tune, no doubt. Larry Toon. I, I'm gonna tell you about Larry Toon now. She yeah. showed right out a hundred times, but I'm here to tell you the maiden class. Yeah. Now, 
She, she won. Hey, she walking on water. Oh. She getting it done. She showed her. She showed them what she had. She brought what she had, and she took it home. Laura Tune is. Let me tell you, Laura. She is. She's all business now. Oh yeah. Uh, it ain't no. You know, she's all business, and she's all. Uh, she got some great customers too. Her clients does, are super good people. She's a smart horse person. Oh yeah. Of course, her dad. You know, she she ain't like she's, you know, just falling out of the tree in nope. you know Woodbury or something. Hey. She comes from Washington, state Washington, West Coast, somewhere out there. She, but she Doug knows how to dad, do it. Yeah. They 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 are horse people. She knows how to get it done. That's all that matters. Now she shows a lot of models too. Whatever breed too. But but don't her dad never never underestimate her when it comes to training a horse. The dumbest judge, I heard a dumb judge say this one time, if there is dumb horse judges, when in doubt, tie tune. Let's go to the next class. Hey, yeah, I, hey, I've heard hey, one hey, say that one night. Hey, If you're in a flat shot class, I, I, when in doubt, tie if tune. you feel like an idiot, just tie her and you'll probably and, and let it go. Yeah, so you, let it go. You, you're probably gonna be right. Right, I've heard you. that said, you know, when you announce horse shows, you get tidbits. Yeah. And so they say, yeah, we go over here, tie tune, and go on the next class. <laughs> if, if it's tough tying out there, go for tire. it. I know yeah. she, Cadillacs, all them. She she taught, she trained a lot of the horses. Oh yeah. And, and I mean, you you can't you cannot question her. Laurie Toon. Laurie Toon, yeah. Well, Old Toon. That's why Wesley left that four top yesterday on that coat. He said because Laura probably wants this four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gonna sell it to Laura. <laughs> Well, that concludes our top flat shot trainers for this year. We're headed to commercial, right? No. Where are we going? We're done. For the show? Yeah. We, oh. We're done. So anyway, Jerry took a call. That's all. Live television is the best. Hey, no. The guy <laughs> hey, no. Who is it? That's the guy wanting to buy a horse. Well, let's <laughs> sign, sign, hey, hey. sign the guy up. I should have sold it to him while we was on there. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, I said, now everybody knows you. <laughs> He's gonna blow you up. That's fine. Hey, no. listen, uh, that flat shot horse. Yes, that's evident, right? That's that, that's it. I mean, that's, that's it. the story called, of the horse is right there. He called last night, won't talk about a horse, and he's not the only one. I, yeah. I get calls every night asking me one thing or another: who's the best one to go here? Who's the best one yeah. to go there? And, and I'm gonna tell you, I tell them to go to Jerry Williams, yeah. Robbie Spiller. Now, Robbie Spiller is a great trail ride person to look at mm -hmm. when you want one. Dick Peoples, he's a good one. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's people out here that will shoot you to the right person. And I'm talking about the people right around here. Now, there's others, other work. Bobby McNatt down in Lynchburg. But guess what? You, you can out what? You got 15 seconds. <laughs> we got 15 <laughs> seconds. You took I'm up, watching the screen over here. You took up all the talk. <laughs> no, I didn't. Folks, we will look see you thin, next Look how kind of thin, Jerry. I'm kind of happy with you. He's losing weight. <laughs> he, he just weighs 400 pounds now. Ah, we we will see you next week. We'll be here. Take see care. See you later. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunker down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.